All right. Uh, thank you for sharing your afternoon with myself and uh, my fellow traders and presenters. And uh, as Reed said, my name is Bill Costaritas, and I'm afraid I've been a long time. As you can see, I uh, started uh, at Maryland in 1977, so that will kind of date me probably. But what we're going to talk about today that I think is important to you is uh, uh, trading in the after hours market or the Globex, as uh, some of you may be familiar with which was the market by a joint venture between Reuters and the CME to accommodate the current trade. And this goes back to the early 90s. So this market's still fairly new to a lot of folks. And while I'm on that subject, uh, how many of you have ever traded uh, after hours in the Globex? Because that'll kind of help me as to which way to take this conversation today. All right, so it looks like it's uh, almost evenly split. The, uh, the Globex, for those of you who just mentioned that, one, you're not familiar with it or it's too thin, let me uh, first talk about that because, you know, there was a time when it first uh, started when uh, we all, I say we all, you can tell I'm from the South, when we started trading in the Globex, you know, there was just a handful of us because you had to have a Globex terminal, you couldn't access it like you can today. You had to have uh, special permission from the futures exchanges. You had to be approved. This uh, Globex terminal was uh, relatively expensive, a few thousand dollars just to obtain one. And uh, uh, once you obtain the Globex terminal, it was about a thousand dollars a month, and the commissions were twenty-five dollars a round turn, and you could only trade two or three markets. Now today you can trade just about any market you can possibly think of. I'm having some trouble with my charts as well. Give me just a second here. Okay. Um, today you can trade just about any market you can think of uh, in the Globex. The volume is uh, excellent. The fills are good. Uh, commissions are, you know, anywhere from five dollars and under, depending on what platform you're with. But uh, I, I want to leave you just with a couple of thoughts uh, today. First of all, if uh, I can say just one thing today that helps you become a better investor or a better trader, then our time is well spent, number one. But number two, I want you to keep an open mind because even if you trade the E-minis during the day, this is still a very different market uh, than trading the uh, S&Ps during the day, believe it or not. And what I also would like to say that I think is very important is we all know now we're in a 24-hour market, and because uh, we firmly believe that at Night Scalper, we now have a live 24-hour chat room that I'll tell you about. And also, we uh, today may have one of my favorite trade setups that I'll tell you about here in a few minutes if these S&Ps close around this 2027 area, which is where they were trading just before I came on. Now, the Globex used to have a uh, defined open and a defined close. It opened at 3.30 after the S&Ps closed at 3.15 in the U.S. It traded to late 15 and that was it. And as I said, you had to have a, a specific Globex terminal in which to enter orders. And in the early days, there was just a handful of us, and I probably know most of them even today. So I have been involved with this market since inception. Now today, if you have a laptop with a few thousand dollars in it, we call it open access. Open access is what uh, was created for just anyone to access this market, and that was in 2005, I believe it was. So you can see this is still an early market, and there are very, very few people, even today, who understand how it really works. And I know you're thinking, well, trading the S&Ps is, you know, at night or during the day, what's the difference? And it's a big difference, and then that's what we're going to talk about today. Then we'll talk about our 24-hour 
live chat room, the only one that we know of at least. But the uh, Globex hours now, the uh, S&Ps will close here at 3.15 in just a couple of minutes. All the times that I will use today are central times. But uh, the Globex will close here at 3.15, reopen at uh, 3.30. We are now officially in the Globex session. It will shut down at 4.15. From 4.15 till 5, that's generally when most of their platforms are resetting their uh, margins and sending out and processing statements, so forth and so on. So the new trading day, if you're trading futures, does not start at 8.30 in the morning when the U.S. opens. It starts at 5 o'clock Central Time. That's what's important to remember if you're not familiar with this market. And I just cannot overemphasize this. If you're not following, whether you're trading in this market or not, if you're not following the Globex or this after hours market, you're leaving some 17 hours of valuable information that'll make you a better investor and a better trader. So it is something that you should, a market you should have at least a basic knowledge of whether you want to trade it or not. I will also tell you that if you've never traded futures, this is the best place to learn because it's a slower market, it's a slower developing market, it trends better. This is one of my favorite pet peeves. You don't have these computer buy and sell programs in the Globex at night. And the reason is, uh, and you may ask me why not, you thought computers were in every market. And there are some computers that you know are executing uh, for accounts overnight. But it's not the same as the computers that you see during the day. Uh, there's just not enough volume in this market at night. Even though there's plenty of liquidity to trade, there's not enough volume to drive these, uh, these quant models that these mathematicians have created for these computers. So you just don't see the volatility at night that you see during the day. So again, it makes it easier to trade. We develop these trade signals that only work at night. They won't uh, work for you during the day. But most importantly, if you uh, have less volatility, you can use tighter stops, and tighter stops obviously mean less risk. All right, and um, if you'll save some of your questions, and uh, I think Harry's in the room with me, one of my associates. He may try to answer some, but if you'll hold your questions, I'll try to get to them right after we're done. I'll make sure we have some time at the end here. All right. Now, in addition to speculation and trading in the Globex, this is the only place where if uh, you go home with your portfolio and you're fat and happy and everything uh, is working like you thought it would and you're comfortable that the markets are uh, going in the direction you were hoping for them to, then there's this thing that goes bump in the night, as I like to call it. And don't ask me why, but it just seems like every time there's negative news or bad news that can affect the U.S. market, we find out about it while most of us are sleeping. A few examples are the Lehman debacle. Well, that, that occurred on a weekend, and the uh, first place you could take advantage of it was in this Globex. Or uh, 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 the crisis in Europe with Greece and, and the other uh, pigs, as they called them, over in uh, Europe. The uh, tsunami in Japan. Uh, the crisis with Ukraine. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on, and currently, because of all the problems that Europe is having, it looks like they're going to go back into a recession. Now you get all these negative uh, macro numbers out of Europe at night that affect the Globex, the S&P sell off, and then when we open up in the morning, you're scratching your head trying to figure out why we opened down. Was there some kind of news? It could be news out of China. It could be news out of uh, Europe. But the point I'm making is, is that it just seems like a lot of the negative news that can change the entire profile of the U.S. market seems to happen at night while the U.S. is sleeping. So this is a tremendous uh, tool if you want to uh, have access to it where you can hedge your portfolio should something happen using futures. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time because our time is limited, and I uh, hope Reed gives me a couple extra minutes because we uh, we got started late, but you can see this is just an example. I didn't leave it up there very long, but these slides are available to you of how you would hedge uh, one S and P, you know, with uh, your portfolio of seventy-five thousand dollars. All right, so real quick, I know most of you have asked yourself this question. Uh, 
you know, it, Bennett just talked about some of this a few minutes ago. What's the difference between a average trader and a successful one? And we all know this, an effective plan. We all know we have to have a discipline and a plan or we're just not going to succeed on a regular basis. So I'm going to take a few minutes, talk about that a little bit and how we approach that in this space at night. Now again, I can't overemphasize as well that we now have a 24-hour live uh, chat room where you can uh, work with different traders, learn different traders' techniques, uh, be educated by different traders. We're always having classes. Uh, today we're going to also give you one of Dr. Frank Stanley, who is a uh, PhD in psychology. He also teaches a course on the psychology of trading. But what he's known for is his options courses, and we're going to give that to you for free today towards the end of this uh, presentation. Okay, so you've got your proprietary signals and indicators that we're going to talk about real quick that I've spent years developing. As I said, they only work at night. Then you see the Greekisms. I know you don't have a clue what that is, but that's basically other signals and events that reoccur um, on uh, in this market that I've identified over the years that I've been in it since the early 90s that uh, you know can help you when you're trying to find trades. And of course, I, and I will say this too, I have been in a lot of chat rooms over my uh, career. We have one of the friendliest and most helpful and most social chat rooms you'll ever be a part of. And that's one of the things that they do. They like to give each other nicknames and these signals that I developed, they gave the nickname Greekism. That's where that came from. And this is one of my favorites and most, impor most important. This is where I see most traders fail. They do not have an effective money man management system. Without an effective money management system, you're just not going to be consistent in your results, and that's what we do. We want to be consistent. Now, real quick, I told you we talk about the differences in trading in the Globex and trading during the day. At night, the U.S. is not in control like it is during the day. We have key market times at night that take place. I'll give you a couple of examples. When the Nikkei opens at 6, now that we're on standard time, 7 daylight savings time. Key market times, for example, when the Nikkei opens, or, or 12.30 when the DAX opens, or excuse me, from 12.30 to 1, that period before the DAX opens. We have the European markets, cash markets, open at 2 a.m. So if you've ever watched this market and you're trying to figure out why all of a sudden there's all this movement in the marketplace, it's because these markets are opening, closing, going on breaks, and they can move the S&Ps. Now, let me also say we only trade the mini S&P in this room. We do not trade other markets, at least in my time frame, which goes from 5 in the afternoon, evening, till 3 in the morning. Uh, there are other traders that we have in the room. They trade the S&P. They trade the bonds. They trade commodities. They trade options. They trade just about anything you can think of. The only trader we lack right now is a currency trader, and we're hoping to have one of those very soon. But the point I'm making is, is the U.S. is not in control. What you're going to find if you follow this market is the S&Ps are going to move based on what's going on with the Nikkei or the Hang Seng during the Asian session. And you may want to write these down if you're, if you're going to try to follow this market. And again, these slides are available to you, and I think there's a recording of this as well that you get. But the uh, Asian control, as we call it, is from 5 p.m. till 12 a.m. in the morning. And the markets that we follow are the Hang Seng and the Nikkei. You may ask me, why not Australia? Why not South Korea? Why not uh, you know, some of these other markets where economies are so important? Uh, and the answer is they just do not affect the S&Ps. And in all my years of doing this, you know, I've seen Australia announce rate increases or Canada. They just do not move the S&Ps like the Nikkei and the Hang Seng do because those are major economies. Japan's now number three, China's number two. There's some debate as to whether we're still number one, but you know, on paper we're number one based on you know GDP, and uh, that's where they you know they make that determination. All right, now so European control, which starts at midnight and goes till five in the morning. 
course, we have the DAX and the FTSE to a lesser degree, but those are the markets that you need to pay attention to because they certainly affect the S&Ps. If uh, you, you, you have any doubt about that, just uh, get on, on line one night, watch the DAX, watch these markets trade, and watch how these S&Ps move. Well, during the day, you don't care about the DAX or the Hang Seng or the Nikkei. Many of you probably don't even think about it. But today, it's very important. These are markets you need to think about, you need to understand. For example, we now have the China GDP or PMI numbers that come out because that's the second largest economy in our system in the world. It can dramatically affect the global economy, which can affect uh, how the markets move when these uh, news announcements are made. Uh, for example, you'll wake up in the morning and on CNBC or Bloomberg, they're talking about the S&Ps being up or down because of the PMI that came out of Germany or, or China. And here of late, especially with the struggles that uh, Europe is having, this is why it's important to follow these markets. Then again, you had uh, Draghi, who's the equivalent of our Fed chairman with the ECB. He came out this morning and, you know, did the usual jaw boning trying to convince markets that, you know, he's ready and willing, you know, to create as much stimulus as necessary to get the economy going. And, of course, that's what uh, ran our S&Ps up this morning. You may think it was, you know, the uh, unemployment claims number, which was a good number, but it doesn't affect the market like this ECB announcement with this stimulus. As all of us know, you know, we're in this new age of financial engineering, and do not get me started on that. All right, the key trading window for uh, my space for when I trade is from 5 to 3 a.m., and we're more focused uh, this afternoon on the Globex than we are the other markets that we have in our chat room that the guys and gals are doing. Globex trading hours are from 3.30 to 8.30, as I mentioned before, and I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. If you're not at least keeping up with this market, understanding what's going on, you're missing on, out on 17 hours of information in a 24-hour marketplace. And I think we all understand we're in a 24-hour global market, not just for uh, as economies go, but for investing and trading as well. Now, I know some of you are saying, you know, this is ridiculous. I, I can't stay up all night, and we know that. Uh, in fact, that's one of the reasons we created the 24-hour trading room. You can pick your time when it's flexible uh, or convenient for you to trade. You have the flexibility to you know, trade, whether you want to trade during lunch or early in the morning before you go to work with Dr. Stanley, or you want to trade with Roy between uh, 8 and 10 or, or Dirty Harry from 10.30 to 11. You know, you have these options of trading with these guys, you know, throughout uh, the day and then with me in the evening, so you have the ability to take advantage of these markets. But I would say that the majority of our trades, and if I get the trade I think we're going to get, we're going to have one right at 5 o'clock. Um, the majority of our trades take place before midnight, and of course we've created systems so that you don't have to sit in front of the screen all night and stare at it, where you can... Uh, you know, go about your business, have dinner with your family, uh, uh, you know, read a book, watch TV, take a walk, and we notify you via um, Twitter. We have alarms that go off when there's a trade or a trade's being uh, modified or we're putting a trade on, taking a trade off, for example. That way you don't have to sit in front of your screen all night, or if you enter trade, you can put in your limit and your loss orders, OCO orders, and go to bed. But again, we have a room, as you can see our schedule, where you have these other options of being able to trade. All right, just real quick, because we don't have a whole lot of time for this. Um, some of the proprietary indicators that we use in this uh, room, and now we're back on just the Globex, a space that uh, I call trades in. When the markets are known to move, we call these pivot times. For example, as I said a few minutes ago, there's a pivot at 1.30 uh, after the DAX opens. There's one at 6.30 after the Nikkei opens. There's one at 3.30 in the morning. These are some of the most, uh, uh, 
high profile ones, if you will, but there are others. And then you have to have at least a sense of what the other international markets are doing. And again, while I'm you know talking about the international markets, you do not have to become an international economist to understand how to trade in this room. We make it simple, we make it easy, and I promise you, if you want to learn how to trade futures, the Globex is the place to do it. All right, the dome. Now here's a perfect example of how an indicator works great during the Globex session, but is totally useless to you during the day. Most all of you have a dome on your trading platforms if you're trading futures, depth of market, it's a tremendous tool at night. It's a volume indicator, but during the, the daytime, after 5 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. in the evening, it's just not a reliable indicator. Now, we do look at other markets, though we don't trade them. We look at the bonds, we look at the yen, and we look at the euro, also to help give us uh, you know, some uh, direction. All right, now I talked earlier about a trade setup that we're going to have tonight. I'm going to go ahead and give that to you. And if they close above 27, which means they close at the top tick of the last hour of trading, then you sell them at somewhere between 4 central and 415. And then there's a high probability that you're going to be able to take a profit on that trade after the opening in the Globex at 5 o'clock. Now, the only way you can take advantage of this trade is if you have a futures account. If you have a futures account, you're ready to go. Keep in mind that if you put a position on, let's say if it's just one S&P contract, you're going to have a margin call because even though you may have only held it for about an hour, you still took it home overnight. This is an indication of what we call a Greekism. It's one of my favorite trade setups. Uh, here's another one real quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. The Monday, just so you get a feel for what these Greekisms or signals are. The Monday after options at expiration week is usually an up day at some point. And you say, well, why is that? Because there are still positions being unwound and settled after Friday options expiration. And that's valuable information because if you're trading at Sunday nights, the Globex does open at 5 o'clock on Sundays, not 8.30 Monday morning. You can start trading 5 o'clock uh, Sunday night, which is a huge tool that you can take advantage of rather than wait for 8.30 in the morning, especially if there's been news over the weekend like we talked about earlier. All right. Here's the one I just talked about. If there's an overnight sh uh, uh, sh short squeeze today like we had, a, a rally where we close at the top tick of the last hour of trading, there is usually an opportunity to scalp a point or so right after the market's open. Let me get back on that slide. Well, I can't go back that far. I apologize. But again, let me just say that the setup that uh, we're talking about here is, uh, let me get back on order here. Okay, uh, this this is a uh, not necessarily a short squeeze today. We had a rally today based on some news, but there was some short squeeze going on. If if and when the S and P's close at the top tick of the last hour of trading, that's usually a great short opportunity. So if they close 27 or above, or even close to 27, 26 and a half, you can sell them, carry that contract over into the Globex, and there's a high probability, as I said a minute ago you'll be able to trade that particular instrument. Okay. Now we talked a minute ago about a proper money management system. And we emphasize this over and over again in our chat rooms and in our education series because if you don't have a proper money management system, you're just not going to consistently uh, find the success that you're looking for. So the way we approach that at Night Scalper, I don't know if this is me or if this is uh, Reed's room. I'll go back to that in just a second. But these are some of the customized indicators that we have at night. 
we have the foreign market live data. You have to have real-time quotes to follow these markets. We have a Dome-O-Matic, which basically calculates the Dome for you automatically. We have trigger lines. We have a, a chart. We call it the Viper. With all the other indicators that I've developed over the years to assist you with your trades in this room. Now, if you look on the left, you will see the uh, uh, IB quotes where we provide you with real-time quotes on uh, Asia and Europe. And guys and gals, I know you may think you can find these quotes for free, but very few firms let you have them for free. It's part of our service that you can get access to these, but if you want real-time quotes on Asia, you have to have a feed from the Singapore Exchange, and it is expensive. Uh, some platforms may charge you $25 to $40, $50, $60 a month. Just to get a feed on the Singapore Exchange, we provide that as part of our chat room. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these because my time is short. All right, so as I said a minute ago, basically what's important to know in our room is we have the key market times or the pivots. We have proprietary signals and indicators, you know, such as I just touched on, the dome. We follow the other international markets. We follow currencies. Again, it's not complicated. It is the easiest place to learn how to trade futures. I promise you that. We have the Greekisms or signals that help you look for, you know, trade setups. The one I just mentioned uh, a minute ago, we probably will have this evening. So, you know, go home if you're not already home. Take advantage of it. Again, if it's 26 and a half or higher, close to 27, you want to sell it somewhere between 4 and 4.15. And when the Globex opens, you should be able to take advantage of a nice little scalp, hopefully. Works about 80% of the time. Money management system. As I said a minute ago, I cannot overemphasize how important that is. Now, real quick, I'll touch on that, and then we'll take, I think we'll have time for some questions. Uh, money management, as I just said, is one of the most important aspects of any trader's toolbox. If you do not have a proper money management system, you're just not going to make money on a consistent basis. And what we do in Night Scalper, is that what we encourage our folks to do is, uh, and I lost that one too, is we tell them to set a goal. You know, now let's just use $2,000 a month as your goal. That's what you would like to supplement your income. Now the people that are in our room, they're in there to supplement our income. If you're, uh, if, if you're, you know, if you're trading with me at night, that's what the majority of people are in there to do. And we say set a goal, and let's say your goal is, you know, uh, $2,000 uh, a, a month. You assume there are 20 trading days out of each month. So all you have to do is average $100 a night. We ask you to trade, you know, contracts and pairs. So if you're a one contract S&P trader, we ask you to trade two. You can do that because it's a slower market in the Globex at night. And then we use two contracts because we can stagger our entries and stagger our exits. So, for example, uh, you know, last night we bought, let me think, we bought 13 and a half in the S&Ps, and then when it went to uh, 15 in the example, I, or 16, excuse me, in the example I just used, you could have taken one down at 16. You would have kept the other contract as a runner, we call it, in case the market went higher higher, which it did, and then you can, you know, benefit from a bigger move on the second contract. But by using two contracts, you spread your risk, you spread your entries, you can spread your exits, and uh, stagger your stops. So, again, you know, we ask you to set a goal, and here's the important part. When you reach your goal, guys and gals, you know, stop. Uh, and I'm guilty of this. I'm as guilty of this as, as anyone. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've reached my uh, goal trading in the Globex at night, which is, you know, what I'm uh, most comfortable with, only to give it back in this crazy market that we've seen during the day. It is a tough market to trade. I don't care who you are. That's why so many of these hedge funds are struggling, because this has just been a very difficult market. I don't care what your level of experience is. 
All right, as I said before, uh, I used to talk about tra trading in the Globex between you know, the hours of 5 and 3 a.m., but we have since expanded to a 24-hour trading room. We're still short uh, maybe, I don't know, five hours. I think we have about 17 hours of the 24-hour clock covered. We have, uh, I'm trading and scalping futures from 5 to 3. We have uh, Dr. Frank Stanley who comes on, trades the Russell, NASDAQ, and option setups from 5 to 7. We have uh, futures analysis and trading from 8 to 10, and then we have from 10 to 11.30, we have Dirty Harry. He's calling various uh, markets and indices and futures. Okay. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of our bonuses is you're going to get the Options 101 two-hour course with Dr. Frank Stanley. And I am having a real problem here. I don't know what's going on. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can get these back up. Well, I apologize. Um, I'm not sure whether it's on his end or my end, but I am having a problem here. Well, we're just going to have to go with this slide we have because I'm, I'm about out of time anyway. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, our chat room for live chats around the clock is $147 a month. So today we have a 30-day trial. You get the Options 101 course with uh, Dr. Frank Stanley on demand. You get the new extended room hours. We used to charge 147 for just a Globex now from uh, 5 till 3 in the morning. But for the uh, $47, you get access to all the traders, all the live uh, chats being, uh, trades being called in the chat room. You get the trade alerts, entries, stops, targets. First Tuesday of every month, we have in-depth education. It's uh, all the education you can possibly uh, stand. We don't try to uh, get you in the room and say, okay, if you pay uh, more money, we'll give you some more indicators. It's 147 a month for as long as you're in the room. That's all you will ever pay. But to see if the room works like we say, to see if you can make money trading with uh, our systems, and our traders, it's $47 for 30 days. Now, this is a uh, promise I can make you. Uh, if you pay $47 and you learn just one uh, uh, process or, or thought or system that makes you a better trader, it's worth $47, that I promise you. And you will learn at least something that will make you a better trader when you're with the traders that we have. This is a professional group. They've been around a long time. And it's $47 for 30 days to see if it works the way we say. Then after that, it's $147 a month, period. Now, there are other Tuesdays in which we have training and education. You'll uh, get to spend time with the other traders and their trading systems, their charts. So it's constant education. It's constant live trading, and so it's a, it's a unique trade room. We don't know of any other trade room around anywhere like it where you can trade almost literally around the clock. Now, I apologize for the problems we have with the slides. I hope you can see the one that's up there. Are you able to see the one that's up there, by the way? Bill, if you want to go to the uh, top left of your uh, PowerPoint slide, where it says from current slide to the right, where you go to the right right there. Got it. On that. Okay. And that will actually uh, expand it. All right. Let's see if that works. I don't know what happened, uh, Reed. I haven't had this problem before.
You, well, yeah, that makes two of us, though. So, um, you know, it's uh, it, these things kind of happen. So we're, we're we're getting through it. And then, it, did it just do the same thing again? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting. Hang on, let me see if I can get the last slide. And I'm yeah. still coming. Can they see? Can you see that slide? Uh, I can. I can read it. Um, it's not too small. Uh, you can make okay. up the URL. Well, anyway. Alfred.com. Yep. Sorry about the, the 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 tech issues, folks. But it's forty-seven dollars for thirty days. All the live trading you can possibly stand, uh, education, and then uh, after that, after the thirty days, it's one forty-seven a month. So let me back up here, and I think Reed's going to give me a few more minutes for answering questions. Okay. When do I sleep? Uh, a common question, by the way, I catnap because I trade during the day as well as at night, and I work with the guys during the day that call trades. Um, what do you think about trading NASDAQ binaries in the Globex hours? I do not have an opinion because I'm not familiar with them. Um, you do not have high-frequency trading at night, K-N-A, because, as I said earlier, you just don't have the uh, the the volume that they need to accommodate these quant models. They have to have a huge amount of volume. Okay, can you trade the Asian markets? Absolutely. That's uh, part of what we, well, you can trade them, but we what we do is trade the S&Ps as they follow the Asian markets, but you can trade Nikkei futures or Hang Seng futures. Uh, the Globex closes technically um, at uh, 8.30 when the U.S. opens. Um, gold, you can trade, Mike, in the Globex, but it's slow, very slow. Uh, Bill, um, this is Bob asking us, how do you trade the E-mini at night when sometimes there's a very tight trading range? That may, that's, that's, that's a problem, uh, Bob. Uh, sometimes, you know, it, 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 it does stay in a two-hour trading range or two-point trading range, but... Uh, you know, at some point, it's going to at least trade and expand that range from five to ten points. It usually will happen, you know, when Europe opens. But it can require some patience. All right. Is this seminar being recorded? I do believe it is. Yes, it is being recorded, and it will be available on our Okay. Uh, can you, this strategy, work on spies? No. Um, can you show instruments you are trading slide again? Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. I could probably, if I try to go back to it, I'm going to mess up. Plus, I think I'm out of time. Um, let's see. Okay, most of these folks are saying they can see the slides. Uh, Sam, I think someone, or maybe it was you, asked a question about you know, using the spies to trade uh, this system, and the answer is no. Um, seems like a good way for a novice Aussie trader to learn futures trading. Brett, you would be surprised at the number of Aussies we have in this room, by the way. You can always tell because when they sign on uh, in their morning, our night, they're going, good day. Um, how long have I been trading the Globex uh, since inception? And that goes back to the early 90s. Do I ever think the high-frequency programs will go overnight? I pray to God they do not, because that will just ruin a perfectly good market. Uh, how do you get the trial offer? You go to, uh, and I think um, we will also post a link uh, to our website to take advantage of the offer, and you can get into the room right away. Um, what is the current ATR on the E-mini and the Globex at night? Um, Brad, it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 10 points, uh, you know, in the Asian session, and then it usually expands to 10 points uh, after Europe opens. But there are nights it can be uh, narrow, as someone just mentioned. All right, so I think I... Got to answer all of the questions. 
I thank Reed for hosting us. I thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Uh, and uh, I think this offer is for 48 hours, I believe. My marketing group sets this up. I think that's usually how long they keep it open. And uh, it's forty-seven dollars for thirty days. And guys and gals, I promise you, uh, you will learn something that's well worth your forty-seven dollars, even if you decide you don't love us anymore after thirty days. All right. So um, again, Reed, we thank you. We thank you, folks, for. Uh, allowing us to spend some time with you. We hope to see you in the trade room or somewhere else in the near future. Have a wonderful day and good luck with your trading.